Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Bose, and welcome to our video series. Proper therapy exercises are important for recovery from most orthopedic conditions. I've designed this series to provide you with up-to-date therapy regimens that you can access at home, in the gym, or on the road. I hope you find these videos helpful, and best of luck in your recovery. Go to where you feel the stretch, hold for 30 seconds. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Again, hold for 30 seconds. Reach back, grab the ankle. You may need to use a towel or a belt loop if you can't lean back that far. Feel a stretch in front of your thigh and again hold for 30 seconds. Bike is increased to about 15 or 20 minutes at this point. As tolerated, start with light resistance and progress. Strengthening the hip muscles. You can start with no weight and progress to using some ankle weights. Hold at the top of the exercises for one or two counts. feel weak at first, you start with no ankle weight. Lean against the wall, bend down approximately six inches to your knees are in slight bending or flexion. Hold in that position for 30 seconds and back up to the front at this point to avoid excessive stretch in the front of the knee or excessive strain there. Drop down about six or eight inches. Do on both the operative and non-operative leg. Six to eight inch squat to a lateral lunge. Alternate sides. Hold in the flex position one to two counts. Slowly building strength and coordination. Step up and step down. Let the operative and then non operative leg be the lead leg. Side stepping on both sides. First stepping with the operative leg, then following with the operative leg on the opposite side. You can start with no weight at first and add dumbbell to increase resistance. Squat approximately six to eight inches. Toes pointed out to the side, strengthening the hip and the quad. This compound motion helps strengthen multiple areas.
Tighten your core as you bring your leg out to the side. Strengthening muscles around the hip. Hold in the extended position for one to two count. Arms overhead, rise up on your toes. Bend down into a slight squat position, approximately six to eight inches. Again, compound movement, building strength in multiple areas. Single toe rise, hold for a one to two count at the top of the exercise and alternate sides. You can start by leaning against something for assistance and progress to eyes closed. Do the operative as well as the non-operative side. Toe reaches to the back, then to the side, and then out in front. You can start by lightly tapping the toe on the ground and progress to no tap. Building strength on the stance side. Lift one knee, then fall into the wall, push back in balance. Opposite side. Hip out flexed, fall into the wall, push off. Helps build proprioception and joint sense. Progression gait training in this phase, lateral step overs, improving strength, balance, and position sense. Step to the side and bring the opposite leg up. Hold in that position for one count. You can step over a reference line, hear the hashtags, do forward and backwards, building strength and coordination. Squat down six or eight inches. Stay in the squat position. Sidestep one leg at a time. Go up one direction and progress back in the opposite direction. Staying in that squatted position. Tighten the muscles in the front of your abdomen. Hold for five seconds. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Tighten the muscles in front of your stomach. In this position, lift your hips and gluteal area off the floor. Hold at the end point for a one to two count. Bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Hold at the top. Lift your chest and your knees off the floor. Contract your low back. Hold for three to five seconds. 